Hi there. Welcome back to Cozy Time with Miss Kane. I've got my blanket today because I'm feeling a little bit cold and I'm feeling sleepy. In our story today, Pig feels sleepy, but Pig can't get to sleep. What do you do when you can't get to sleep? Let's find out what Pig did. Our story today is called Good Night Sweet Pig and it's written by Linda Bailey and Josie Massey. Let's read together, shall we? Good Night Sweet Pig written by Linda Bailey and Josie Mass. To sleep or not to sleep? That is the question. Pig number one was trying to sleep, plumping her pillows and counting sheep. But pig number two liked to read with a light and eat buttered toast all through the night. Pig number three liked to watch TV and paint her trotters and drink iced tea. Four was a boar who juggled with plums. Five came to bed with a full set of drums. Six was a pig who loved to bake. He brought an enormous birthday cake. Seven showed up in a wedding dress and stepped into the cake. Yeeks! What a mess! Pig number eight was a Spanish dancer. Pig number nine was a Bengal lancer. Ten was a famous basketball star who brought his whole team in a luxury car. Pigs on the pillows. Pigs on the floor. Pigs in the closet. Pigs at the door. Pigs playing music. Pigs with a ball. Pigs in a cuddle. Pigs in a brawl. <laughs> the first little pig began to weep. How can a poor pig get some sleep? She asked them all in the sweetest way if they would kindly go away. The other pigs were badly shook. The pigs are nicer than they look. Ten wiped a tear from his famous snout and took his team and tiptoed out. Nine said sorry and offered a ride to pig number eight and they pranced outside. Seven took out a mop and a broom and tidied up the messy room. Six brought clean sheets for the bed and pillows for the sleepy head. Five read a gentle bedtime book, short, but that was all it took. Four gave a tender kiss good night. Three turned out the bedside light. And number two sang lullabies until the first pig closed her eyes. Good night, sweet pig.